All right, now I'm going to take you into the back area where all the channels that have been programmed into the Digi Extreme are located. So by either clicking add-ons right here, or if you were to just click the videos, you would have went to video add-ons. So this is not the back area. These are your live channels that are all enabled. But if you go to the very bottom of the screen and you move over to get more, you will come to a section that's going to load and there's going to be quite a few channels here, about 150. Now only the ones that say enabled are on the front screen. It's very simple. As you scroll down, you see a lot of blank spaces. Well, those are all these are all channels that are not enabled. AT, uh, this ATN network, Asian Hora, Apple iTunes trailers. Okay, so let's just take this one for example. If you want to activate this and use this, you would simply click OK. Then you're going to come to an add-on information screen, which allows you to install it. Click install. It happens relatively quickly. I would say in less than 10 seconds. Once it's enabled, you can hit the back button or the return button. go into add-ons Apple it's all alphabetical so move to the top and there it is so this feature should now work I'm gonna click OK to see if it does work and there you go these are all trailers just short little clips of movies. That's all you need to do to activate a plugin and bring it to your your front ch uh, channel screen. Um, I can now show you how to take one off that you don't want there. Uh, a plugin on the on your your channel list that you don't want it there. So I'm going to go back and you could, let's say that uh, you're not uh, in need of a Spanish channel, let's say. So here's a good example. So you're going to need to find this in the get more area. So I'm going to click on get more. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to P I think I went too far I'm going to go ahead and find the plugin it says enabled I'm going to cl click OK and the add-on information screen gives you an option to uninstall it. So if I click uninstall, it's going to ask you if you really want to do it. So I'm going to hit yes. As fast as it took to install it, it'll uninstall just as quickly. Now it's gone. If you hit the return button, wherever it was before, it's no longer there, which was in the P's. So now it's gone. That is how you install and 
and uninstall plugins from your channel listing, your enabled channel listings. 